Hello Twin Flames! Welcome to my channel! Whether you're new or you're coming back, let's get straight to the reading. It is going to be a classic daily check-in. So we'll look at the feminine energy, masculine, and then we'll get an additional question of what's going on, and uh, we'll get some messages between the twins. Let's get started. As always, I'm starting with the Oracle deck. One card for the feminines. Protected by angels, you are cherished by the angels. So a little bit of message of support and a reminder that uh, you're never really alone, that you do have the support of your guides, of the divine, um, and possibly people around you. Maybe you just uh, haven't been noticing, but if you need advice, help, support, this is the time to ask for it and uh, not have to figure everything out on your own. You don't have to do that. It's also, for some, it's also a message of being brave to do the next step, to get to the next part of your journey and not think that you are incapable or you won't be able to accomplish it by yourself because you're not really by yourself. And yes, there may be obstacles, but you are protected. So get that garbage out of your head if you have any uh, fears around it. For masculines, it's solitude. I think we had that just a few days ago, right? In silence, peace prevails. So masculines are more in a hermit mode and uh, naturally maybe um, <clears throat> finding ways to get away and spend some time by themselves, maybe in nature, if just change of scenery, go to a different place, like, I don't know, visit relatives, right, or some friends. It might look different ways, but it's interesting because even if they're visiting someone, they'll still use the opportunity to spend time by themselves in that area. So yeah. Whatever it is, they are guided to uh, give themselves some space and time to rebalance and rethink the last cycle. We just had the full moon happening, right? So uh, a lot of us got additional insights into where we are and how much our current position actually corresponds to the inner needs and wants and to where we want to go in life. So, let's get to tarot now. Have cards for the twins. Additional question and feelings. Bottom of the deck, the magician. Yeah, so it's time to manifest, but I'm getting this from like, a, it's not completely new, it's like redoing something, right? Like a uh tested the the water i've tried my hand at something something worked something didn't so i still have the goal in that area i still want to do that uh i'm just gonna use a different approach this time and use what i've learned that kind of idea three of swords yeah so that's the learning you know uh, the karmic lessons that once we deal with the pain and suffering of it, you know, with the emotion around it, it gets into the space of wisdom that we can then utilize for something bigger and better. For, or at least for doing it again, but with a clearer view, both on the universal laws and your personal preferences. So, feminines have two of cups and three of cups. Wow. Yeah, so to me, this is the, clearly like the, uh, the, the vision, the realization that the, uh, the soulmate connection starts with friendship, starts with simple things to celebrate, with common appreciation, right? It's like this energy that the feminine is bringing uh, with her do the picture um, when attracting someone. And of course, it's um, to me, it's more of a romantic vibe here. But even for 
like deep partnership and friendship, close friendship, it all still starts with spending time together, having fun with each other and appreciating each other, you know? Like it doesn't just go from zero to level 50, right? Like today we meet, tomorrow we get married. I mean, I guess it can happen theoretically, but you know, uh, you get closer to each other gradually right and it builds up but it starts with those things and if you don't have that uh, foundation it's really hard to build on something like to develop it into something else or it starts it's, it doesn't start from a good place and then you have to play catch up which may create additional karmic cycles masculine still wands create uh, clarified by queen of wands so the feminine is in the water uh, element today and masculine side they have the fiery energy out and about and it's another two notice that two is about partnership right two of cups the obvious soulmate partnership two of wands is like especially in this deck because this ones are kind of part of a gate usually it's choosing between two options but in this case it's like you don't have to choose see how you can use both of those elements that you have at your both aspects of both circumstances that you have at your disposal all right like find this uh the queen of wands is like that um sorcerer's energy right uh find the um innovation in this situation see how you can blend mix and match and maybe even make something different out of each of the elements right so masculines are seeing how they can change their approach to where they are right and not have to juggle between not have to always make a difficult choice okay i'm choosing my career rather than my personal life or uh, i'm choosing to spend time with this person and i'll have to neglect some of my other responsibilities right? it doesn't have to be that um, brutal that black and white it can be you can see how you can without driving yourself insane you can still uh, mix and match and blend and innovate in those areas see how you can make it all work together additional question king of swords clarified by the star so this is a vision of a true direction of a mission but not like for the whole life and we rarely get that kind of uh, view anyway right we just get more and more information as we go along but this is like getting at the truth on what that um near near future vision is for the mission for the goal for that spiritual connection what is it for the feminines <laughs> not the star star clarified by ten of cups wow it's like being the emotional light and the source of love and kindness by yourself and I love it because this is a feminine figure here. It's not always the case that it's so um, front and center, right? Again, Two of Cups, we just saw the Two of Cups in the energy, right? It's like easily igniting people with this essence of emotional fulfillment, of love and light inside, of um, finding ways to get to the Ten of Cups in your own right, you know, in whatever is happening in your life, because the energies that you have, right? How to transmute and get from um, zero to hero, so to speak. And um, most importantly, that you don't need other people to participate to get there. For the masculines, we have five of ones clarified by King of Cups, Knight of Cups, sorry. Yeah, so there is a lot of um, karmic upheaval that's happening right now. On the back of it, the masculines just want things to be simpler and they want to be kind, they want to be nice, they want to be that knight in shining armor, which is can be relevant, you know, not just for the feminine, but for people around in general. Like they want to be that great guy, you know, that people speak about, like he's kind and uh, helpful and strong and smart and wise and like everything right like how is it even possible but he's just so great and so good to talk to like you know all of those things and that's their desire but there's so much going on that they feel like it's never like they can't 
catch a break they can be themselves right like there is just so much stress and pressure all the time that they have to kind of like jump from one role to another from one um, responsibility to another and the truth behind it is that divine masculines do learn largely from karmic situations and f well, let's be honest from hardships that they experience right and the more stubborn they are the harder those lessons are so that's more like for if any of the masculines are watching this is confirmation that this is part, part of the divine plan it's not something that you've done wrong it's not something that uh, i mean being stubborn i guess can count but not like it's not like a punishment it's like a divine or your guides trying to show you something important and that's the way they are showing you that's the language you understand that's how you used to navigate in life doesn't mean that it's not going to change but that's what it is right now so you're learning uh pay attention and appreciate that even in this part of it as much as you can and that actually will ease the whole process for you and that's getting you into that knight of cups situation when you can still find love in yourself and ability to express that love to others even if they're driving you insane or uh you know letting you down and plotting something against you feelings towards each other knight of wands clarified by nine of swords yeah so there is a lot of passion and desire still but it's like the feminine is realizing that a lot of that desire is kind of still fear-based and um, like partly them not wanting to be alone partly uh, them being feared that masculines have somebody else in their life and then it's just not gonna work out for the two of you because there's just so much going on and different views of the world and the, you know, karmic stuff and whatever. And time is just passing by and there's not much progress. So there is a uh, certain anxiety around it. But I like that there's actually one raven here that's white. So that shows me that there's hope there. It's just a matter of time to kind of embrace that and get rid of anxiety in a healthy way for masculines we have 10 of coins clarified by knight of pentacles so masculines are focused on building their abundance to be ready to create space uh, abundance and life that they deserve and that their feminine deserves what they want for their family in general right like this is like working hard but saving like thinking long term not like working uh, like making a lot of money and spending it no it's like being wise about it being smart about it and knight of wands only a knight of uh, pentacles sorry just uh emphasizes it right like it's not a sprint it's a marathon right and i don't want to make any uh rush decisions or even waste my time on some nonsense because I know I've got my focus in front of me. I have the bigger picture and uh, I'm working towards it. Even if I know that it's gonna take a minute, that not everyone is gonna be around to see it or also that people will not have trust that this is gonna work or I know what I'm doing, right? Like it's like that laser focus that I know what I'm doing and I'm going for it. But you know what, deep down, and that's why we have it in the space of feelings towards the feminine. Deep down, this is all to build for creating that family, for sharing it with um, someone near and dear, you know? Um, providing the life that a lot of them haven't had themselves or they know that their parents haven't had, right? Like if they're looking at the feminine, they're looking at their mothers, for example. That they didn't have that kind of comfort of you know they had a lot of struggles around home life and they don't want that for their partner okay i think i'm gonna leave it here thank you so much for joining me today guys i love you all and i'll be back with more readings very very soon